Okay, so I'm gonna pick us. It's any mission will do, right? Yeah. Pick pick the most interesting thing or something, because we haven't. Done no, no, no! Don't do that. I want it to be banal. <laughs> The uh, sick is to bore your audience to what? a state of complacency, so they're so brain dead they can never click away. Okay. Uh, so, what's everyone's favorite um, capital city and why? Keith, what is we'll start with you. In the United States? What is everybody's favorite flavor of drywall? Guess how many <laughs> capital cities I've been to so far. One, they live at. Oh, that's very fascinating. So, Keith, uh, can you give us a list of the end? Of it? Civic history. Okay, uh, do you guys know if a power level 9 mission is too much for you? According to the uh, game, it says no. I am underpowered for this mission. Really? Yes. What Did you get Jemroth's gun? Are? I do have Jemroth's gun. Then you're how fine. The how strong does the game say you are? The what's game. Your lightning bar, what's your uh, lightning my bar? lightning bar is 23. But that's so, us combined. Oh, that's the party one, though. Yeah, that's the party. I think my lightning bar by itself is only 5. What, what do you go by? The world's one or your individual character's one? I don't know how to tell you. Oh, I have a power level of 15? It's really confusing. So your party cumulatively has one number, your base has a different number, and your character you're using has another number. <laughs> you think your character would be the only number that matters. No, because then it wouldn't be as... Uh, but I honestly just don't know what's going on. Rhythms. Hey, different characters. And Waterbot looks like my first character, so this is even more confusing now. <laughs> oh, you guys are starting this... the quest? <laughs> yeah. This is what I call my NPR voice. I guess and I Shelly say, like, looks like an Overwatch character. This is character. all things considered with Birdcatcher. <laughs> they were going to be playing No, I, I got an epic ninja, this and I was just like, This is all yes. birds considered. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> no. Do, 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 do. Next this up, week on, we this will week on beg Birdio for Land. your money for the next two hours with wild <laughs> amounts of political commentary and more begging. <laughs> Remember, News from the only East with today, your help that... can we bring you ad-free uh, radio. <laughs> this podcast brought to you by the Hugh Grant Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> and support from viewers like you. Thank you. The landing site Thank is you. somewhere in this zone. Mm -hmm. You search on foot and I'll search from above. Yes, Lady Bird. <laughs> 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 Bird there you go. Okay, I'm going to turn off the first person camera because holy God, geez, and Moses combined. Oh, Are it's okay? awful. It's awful, man. The first person view is terrible. I'm honestly not even entirely sure why, but I seem to have the slowest loading times out of anyone in this game. Rubies! I just wait at this loading bar for so long, it seems. So in the world of Fortnite, we are traveling to a historic little villa where this uh, was founded by an English nobleman in the 18 Dickities. <laughs> <laughs> the 18 Dickities. I, I wonder how long. What if? Okay, what if I was put in a situation where I was on an NPR show, and I had to bullshit my way through the topic because you didn't even know what, like, what the episode without, was. Yeah, without before without getting caught. I wonder how long I'd be able to oh, like just kind of be like, oh yes, that's very interesting. Turns out you find out every episode of an NPR show. Turns out everybody else has been doing the same thing for like thirty <laughs> years. Cost, your costume <laughs> what? Looks what? Wanda, you what? look ridiculous. <laughs> what? No. The, the, so like, weird the, racer? the white and yellow, like, like oh, yeah. biker outfit thing. Oh, well, I mean, it is a biker outfit. Look What's at, look at what desk? I can do. You know what this desk does? No, Wanda? you didn't like look at what I can do. Uh, wait, oh, that's, are, uh, oh, that's for Shell's. Okay. That's Shell's oh. quest. Yeah, you can kind of see other people's We're quest not objectives. Cool enough. Bird so, you're standing on barbed wire. On barbed wire and to jump up and down on that barbed wire. <laughs> birds do do that. That's something birds do. Wait, there's an exclamation point over there. I don't here. think I've ever actually been to the industrial park before. This is cool. Oh, hey. Listen to the recording. Only everybody else could listen to it, too. Oh, if only. <laughs> That's something you guys get to do immediately after this. <laughs> and then we get to have it talked over by everybody else. Yep. 
but with the power of editing, moments. with the power yourself. of editing, you oh. don't have to deal with it. Bird, on the other hand, is, uh, well, hmm. well, I mean, I, he has to deal with it, and that he has to do something about it. I have to deal with it, and that I can ignore it. Even this editing, it's truth. weird because then you like you edit out the commentary over it, but then like then the conversation doesn't make sense because the conversation was happening while that thing was. Yeah. Happening like it, so like even cutting it out can be a bad idea too. Yeah, so then you, you duck out of the commentary, and then I'm saying something like, "And that's how I ate 19 onions." Sorry. <laughs> cool. And everyone else laughs, and then this episode just has to continue. It starts turning into like one of those like over censoring jokes. Yep. I triggered an encampment apparently. I'm just like I can't believe she ate the whole thing. I was like, what? What? What What did I miss? It's and she like, was no. just bottomless. <laughs> <laughs> that can go In so terms many of ways. food capacity. <laughs> that can go so many ways in so many places. The importance, the importance of context. Hey, Bird, come back. Roared. I just finished an encampment thing. <laughs> Wait, where is that recording? It's below me? Nope. Oh, it's outside. On all of our computers, Shell. On all of our computers. Wait, what Except about? for hers. Yeah. Shall record Dude, more videos. A known as random There's a survivor somewhere around here. I just can't find him. Well, Hold the guy cords. was just talking about how 7 billion people are caught unawares. Yep. Uh, everyone oh, died. Oh, Vinder Tech didn't go out of business. I wonder what Conspiracy. would happen if I just, like, decided that from this point forward, all of my commentary would be done in the NPR voice. Um, I wonder if that would help. We'd or hurt my probably channel. stop Ooh. inviting you back. You basically, <laughs> I don't know. You, you basically pulled this gag with like three other voices now about like, what yeah. if I was always just Scrappy Doo? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess he did pull I it off with that. He no, he that, pulled. That was, an, that was an example. You did pull out like a, a fake Russian accent for D and D, and we're what? How many of? We're, how many episodes? <laughs> then, you, then, you, then you were then you were being we're a bus driver from The Simpsons. Serious? We're probably a solid like twenty-two episodes of me just well, busting out a yeah, horrible Russian. It'll accent. be twenty. It'll be twenty-two episodes on Sunday, which that's like forty hours. Maybe the Russian 30? people even go. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, Greg does it because Greg is Greg. Greg, a fictional construct. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out fictional people can do anything, including offending cultures. <laughs> I've actually had some I would some say offending cultures via fictional characters is one of the best things fictional characters are good at being used for. I've actually had comments where, like, some Russian people are like, his, his fake Russian accent is hilarious, and I'm like, sweet. Oh, it's hilarious? Oh, yes! I thought you were gonna say, like, they I've like actually you. heard you from- They like you, and to them and talk about, about vodka, the only thing that exists in Russia. Oh. Nah, Greg's a teetler. A teetler? Yes. He teetles. Like <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know. This is not where Bird wanted this conversation to go. <laughs> Luckily, what? we can hold him hostage Are your ears by, ticklish? <laughs> by sheer merit of stupid. Welcome to the Birdcatcher <laughs> Today we're going to Tindililililla all over your ears. <laughs> With sultry baritone voices. Oh, I don't have enough blue glove for that. I wasted that. Whoops. No, a teetler is a, a term for somebody who abstains from alcohol. Is it? Yes. Is it because they drink tea instead? Teetler? No, because <laughs> that's the binary state of all of mankind: is you either drink alcohol or tea. Uh, <laughs> no, it's T E E T O L L E R or something, something like that. Teetotaler. No, it's not teetotaler, is it? Uh, sounds yeah. like an X Men villain. Teetalor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make them drink all of the tea. <laughs> you know, I I'm not sure if that's an X-Men villain or like kind of one of those early Avengers villains. There were a lot of those and they sucked. 
I mean, honestly, <laughs> Teetotaler sounds like it'd be the villain of a fucking Sunday morning cartoon sponsored by the coffee industry. <laughs> Captain Coffee is here to coffee. give coffee to the children and <laughs> beat up the teetotaler. We actually have a, a couple comics of There's only British uh, people Spider Man. Tea. Like, mm -hmm. I think I had actually told you guys this one about uh, Spider Man busting the guy who's like literally just controls smoke and tries to get kids addicted to cigarettes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, so Spider Man. Saturday has morning to... cartoon Spider Man. And, and the funny thing is, Luke Cage is actually, like, sort of a co star in this Spider Man issue because the kids that are getting involved with the villain. Uh, he was mentoring them as part of, like, some track team, but then he noticed that his kids could barely run. And he's like, you know, what's happened to you? You used to be such a good track runner. And he's like, oh. He so starts... you got strung out on drugs. <laughs> 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 right. So then uh, then Luke Cage and Spider-Man team up to to beat up this. I, I forget what his name is. It was probably something weird, like smog. Book your lore. Or Remember, kids, if you get strung out on drugs, people that are genetically superior to you will chastise you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like Spider-Man? Well, too bad. Here's your drugs. <laughs> it's always fun being talked down to from people that are that uh, get on a high horse because their life's just inherently better than yours. <laughs> I am literally invincible. Don't do drugs, kids. You'll never be like me, but at least... At least you can feel morally superior well, that, to everybody that else that does thing. do drugs. That was the thing, though. Like, part of their spiel to the kids was, you know, to be Inherently like your top false. physical fitness like us. You know, you need to refrain from taking drugs. Yay. So. Lie to them. <laughs> Storm That's all right, everybody. Lie to children. Well, no, because they're like, Thank I want to be mind. like you, Luke Cage. But they can't be Power ever. Man? <laughs> right, didn't they call him Power Man? So. They'll literally always be shittier than Luke Cage. <laughs> but I think they still I, I called him actually, Power Man. Oh, it only lasts two minutes. I wasted three uh, blue glow on that for two minutes. Yeah, the speed, speed boost. The speed boost is kind of... I really wish it was actually like a lower speed boost, but it would just last for the whole map. Yeah, like you think it'd last for the whole level because it costs three blue glow. Yep. Weird. I'm, I'm trying to think of other hammy villains. Oh, didn't have you guys they have seen the... the... Have you guys seen the animation of Spider-Man trying to open a window? No. It's the best thing that's ever been made. Was he like <laughs> stick to it or something? Spider-Man's trying to open a window in like the old cartoon, and yeah. so what he does is he first he shoots a web on it, which somehow perfectly li uh, aligns itself with the entire uh, square of the window pl pane. Then he punches the window out, and uh, it shatters everywhere. Then he reaches for the bottom of the window and lifts it up because it was unlocked, and then he uh, goes to uh, the window. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, none of what? none of these sequences of actions made sense together. Spider-Man, Spider-Man Spider -Man commits a lot of property damage. Larceny. <laughs> <laughs> larceny man, larceny man. Property damage and random webs. Look out. He leaves the What does the webs stuff. have to do with anything if he's larceny Cause, man? Because he shot a web on the wall for no reason. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to shoot a web on this door and then I'm going to punch it. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, are we supposed to think that shooting a web on a window made it weaker or something so that he could then just punch it out even though it's glass and he has super strength? But then he just opens it because it was unlocked and I'm like, what? I still love that well, one. Well, did he shoot a web on the window to break it so that the, sh the glass wouldn't shatter everywhere and it was all caught in the web? It still doesn't no, explain. No, because he just opened it. He didn't even break yeah, the damn he thing. Didn't, he didn't even need to break it because he just opened it by reaching, like, like, he didn't, like, reach through it to unlatch it. He literally just opens it with a fair, with his, like, normally, like, a window. <laughs> like, the one that slides mm -hmm. up, those, like, Brooklyn looking, like, generic windows. That slide upward, and like, Man, I like still none of the die. things he did together made sense. <laughs> I still die of laughter every time I see that one shot of Spider-Man sitting at a desk, with yep. a portrait of himself behind it. <laughs> I mean, that is just the symbol of success. I want to get to that point in my life. <laughs> I mean, you could do it right now if you wanted to. The best part of how but who's going to take a picture of me? You, duh. What? You know all of your best angles. I'm not going to just take a selfie and frame no. it and then hang it no, up my desk. No, you don't take a selfie, you ninny. <laughs> you have to, like, perfectly frame it with, like, a really high-end... Wait, Bird just admitted that he wants to be Cave Johnson. Well, duh. Yes. Duh, have you met me? Of course I want to be <laughs> Cave Johnson. Like, so you know how Bird has those, like, crazy life plans? Uh, 
40, 40, maybe 50th birthday? I don't know how old Cave Johnson was. But uh, it specifically says Step snort one. moon rocks and then five years later die. And they're both <laughs> like starred and checked and circled a couple of times. It's very emphatic. Just an unironic goal towards actual straight up just suicide via science. Moon rocks. Yes. Science side. Yeah. I have so many I've rewards all over like... the field. If you were to actually inhale moon dust, it would just completely screw up your entire system. Yeah, because it's like inhale much of anything. It's really, really fine if I remember right. It's super fine powder. Oh, it's so fine. There's like no. <laughs> anyway, there's like no. They don't have like the same erosive forces that dust has on the planet Earth. So everything there is like really sharp and really really fine. So if Not you were to, to actually that inhale it, it, it well, it's also been like pummeled by asteroids for yeah, centuries. it's probably got like radioactivity and a bunch of like space schmutz all over it. <laughs> space schmutz. Probably got like the origin of life schmutzed on some of it, and it's just like ew, I got I got cyanobacteria in my. Maybe if you sniff enough of it, you become one with the Schwartz. <laughs> My favorite thing about the dumb Spider-Man animation is just the realization that, like, that animation is such a slow, painstaking process involving so many people, and nobody stopped that weird nonsense. Like, no one picked because up on what was happening. Because those cartoons were produced for so cheap. Are like, you even for those day the, standards, they the were produced on a dime. I still really no, like no, the ones I grew up with? No, no, prior to that. Oh, never mind. There was a series before that that was even more magic. <laughs> The best like part about this, like, those old cartoons is that they, like, like they would always show Spider-Man talking through the mask because all you need to do is kind of make it go like wah, 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 instead of actually showing their mouth animating because that's way more difficult to do. Shell, did you yeah. get all of your recordings, by the way? Because you should probably be doing that. I think so. I think I got all of them. I okay. don't see any more prompts for it. Uh, I just have oh, to find the landing recordings. site. I was confused. Yeah, yeah. I was like, is Shell putting up? Fortnite on YouTube? <laughs> no. She should. Hey, I'm, I'm not. Hey everyone, I'm Shelly not... Moon Gaming here. Uh, but that's the problem. I has anyone seen a garden gnome? I'm um, we might need to go to suburbia for that. We Maybe. can go to suburbia next. I just never been to the industrial no, park before. Me there's no garden gnome factory here. <laughs> should be, dude. That'd be that'd be great. We just like walk into an area and it's just like. Freaking crafty gnomes' face. We have three until uh, the landing balloon comes in. Looks like I have everything I need to craft my new weapon except for the Unition. power cell. Power cell? Yeah, I can get you yeah. that. I've what actually found two on? power Is cells here. To be a car here? Shell, you walked through a room that had so many like glowing loot chests in it. Wait, really? Yeah. What? Now they're all mine. They're all mine. Wait, wait. There's loot. No, don't. There was it. like there was like five leave glowing it. green things in this room. And you no, let me none of let them. me go in and uh, well, I, I see got it for myself and thing. definitely not I'll take swear. any for myself. Um, Garden gnome. Garden gnome must die. Eh, Thy eh, name eh. is Shell. Uh, can, you huh? not, can, you not, can you not kill a garden gnome before? <laughs> you must have to mine it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the oh best my possible God. response to that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is why we keep Shell around. Yep. Ooh, I've been getting a lot of traps and stuff. That's interesting. I found a garden gnome. Turns out, I think... Yeah, that actually it, counted towards my progress as well. So I, I pinned the quest, and that may have helped, or may not have, but uh, I, the, when I found the garden gnome, it was like, glowing with a yellow border around it. So I don't, it might have been because it was pinned. Or maybe uh, it's the first one no, I, found. I think golden uh, garden gnomes actually will glow sometimes, because uh, they didn't have uh, good rewards. I haven't really seen many gnomes in the environment, unless it was in the. You generally find them in shop. people's like houses and gardens and stuff, but every <gasps> once in a while there is a shop like that like life. actually <laughs> is uh, uh, like a garden supply shop, and it's just filled with gnomes. That's actually one of the places where you get your uh, active power cells. Let's see. That's where Gnome ended up? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Gnome. There's a uh, person in my chat who says that there's a Garden Gnome factory out there in the real world, and that's a weird thought of, to them, apparently. <laughs> They're it's wrong. A factor that every single every single Garden Gnome is actually an artisanal good that is yeah, like hand kind of crafted yeah. from a real Gnome. Yeah, like Dreamcatchers. Yeah. 
I thought you were gonna say the Dreamcast, and I was this, like, well, I went yes. over and like searched a like executive looking desk, and I pulled out a packet of herbs, and I was just like, yeah, I know what these are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, water balloon also, is landing in 30 seconds. What the hell is this? There's a dartboard over a chair? Like, what, was yeah. somebody actually just, like, sitting in the chair and somebody else was throwing darts above their head like a shitty William Tell? Well, you know how they have, like, those new casual workplaces, right? Well, first they use that, that weed you found to, to make you super casual. Then they chuck uh, darts at herb. you and you just don't care. <laughs> Bring an intern! We gotta clean up the blood. That yellow circle is the quest objective, right? From the previous end. Well, there's an exclamation point this the way. The so. has landed. Uh oh, we need. Data. Yeah, it's starting now. None of us That's are there. That's why I'm asking where it is. That's I why am. I'm asking where it is. Is it's it the yellow here. circle or is it the exclamation point or what? It's this run to the run of our is. Yeah. I'm it's prepared. Like no uh -oh. the question. <laughs> I'm prepared. Just head to head to me. Happens. I'm right here. Then you're good. Well, like, just answer the question so I can know forever how the game works. Uh, it's the white <laughs> circle. Oh, shit. Well, I built a staircase in the middle <laughs> of the defenses. I was trying to shoot, and then apparently I'd hit Q or, like, an F, one of the F buttons. I'm not really sure. It was confusing. Yeah. You want to drop a power Oh, cell? this is extremely high-powered weapon that was given to me sure. is extremely high-powered. Give me a second. Uh, you're right next to me. Yep. Uh, let's, see. let's see. Oh, jeez. I've got, like, 25 of these things. What the fuck? <laughs> there you go. Another file. Uh, there we go. Bill's character crafting. looks cool. What is it? It's different from my character. It's a ninja. It doesn't look like a ninja. Ah, she is. She looks like Scott's evil, like... Fifth evil ex girlfriend or something. <laughs> yeah, she looks kind of like a, a Scott Pilgrim character. Well, yeah. they do actually have a ninja model that looks very much like um, what's her name? Something. Chow? There we go. Oh my knives. god, this thing has knives. Thing has some range. Knives, knives, right? Rawr. That was such kind funny. of like an interesting universe premise. It was pretty great. Yeah, you beat people up when they die forever by exploding into coins. I was okay with that. It was, it was interesting. <laughs> Video gamey. Yeah, people were pretty casual Whoa, with the murder I just dodged in the that. Scott Pilgrim universe, I think. <laughs> Very laissez-faire about, like, indiscriminate killing of people to take their money. Data's looking good. That guy's got an explodey bit. Watch out. What the hell that? He oh. explodes. He explodes because of the propane tank. Yes. He explodes propane oh, and propane tank lady. accessories. Yes. I'm going in. I just one shot everything with this. Jeez. Yeah, good gun. Good guns are good. The melee weapon, though. Okay, good melee weapons are good. good. Excellent what weapon is it? There. Storm's getting rowdy. <laughs> I learned that word from uh, from Orthogonal. Lack of Daisy. Is that the one with the owl and the bird? No, that's the one with the, oh, the cats. cats. The, the cat oh, people yeah. that are that are in uh, Prohibition era. Oh, yeah. I interesting premise for a comic. Prohibition era speakeasy cats. <laughs> it's cool, though. Yeah. Have you ever thought to realize that there are, like, three web comics where two of the characters are a bird and an owl? <laughs> no, I can't think of one, honestly. Yeah. There's Daisy Owl, there's Nerd. Uh. What is it? That one. There's three that I can think of. I want to say you're actively seeking these out, man. Yeah, you probably literally Google searched them. No, yeah. It, what is it? Daisy Owl? God damn it, I can't remember what they're called anymore. I've never. I can't even think of a webcomic that features an owl. Yeah. There's like Bear Tater, heard of that's. When I think That's of owls, not... all I can think of is Cube Escape and Mr. Owl. What's it? Uh, what's it called? Nerd Droid? Nedroid? Nedroid. No. no? Nedroid is a bird and an owl. I mean, a a, a bird and a bear. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's Bear Tato. That's not even yes. a bear. 
That's a bear tato. There are important differences. Oh, like zipper tiny mouth. <laughs> yep. Look at the tiny people. I think they're like children. Yeah. I, I don't children. even know if bear tato is a bear tato when it's clearly bear tato. Uh, I had a I had a neighbor who like was Akuna actively Matato. trying to trip me up with that for like hours, and I was having none of it because it got kind of annoying after a while. Because it was like he did it first, and it, uh, he was like, "You know, no, it's it's potato," and I was like, "No, What's it's potato man, it's like, Mario." Because he was like, uh, "It's like some brick that you pick up off the ground somewhere." Uh, also, Shillingman was... Stone sounds like a um, like a fantasy MacGuffin. <laughs> it does. Jelly um, Moonstone. But so this guy was like two evolution item in uh in Pokemon, Pokemon isn't it? Yes. Well, the Moonstone is. You can yes. use it to turn your Jigglypuffs into Clefairies. No. No. Yes, <laughs> you turn Clefairies <laughs> into Clefables. There was a whole no. terrible episode dedicated just to that. Excuse me, no, it's Clefable. Where, where they're creepy as all hell. <laughs> Clefable. Jigglypuffs <laughs> evolve into Wigglytuffs. Mm -hmm. Which is the dumbest word. Then they sing the Clefairy song. <laughs> Clefairy, Clefairy. Yeah, see, Clefairy, if Clefairy sing Clefairy. and Jigglypuff sing, therefore a Jigglypuff becomes say a Clefairy. Of, you can't just say that all of the fairy type Pokemon are the same thing. That's racist. Yeah. Uh -huh. They weren't even fairy type Pokemon. Stop being racist to fictional no. monsters. I always wish Pokemon okay, had had like more Pokemon of a like monsters. proper branching evolution path system. Or would they eventually branches start having more branching? Cool. Ish. But all the ones that had like the crazy branches were also terrible. So it was like kind Eevee. of meaningless. Except for Eevee. Yeah, Eevee was Eevee. badass. Eevee was badass, but like only half half of its evolutions were actually worth something. The other half were like super super subpar. For, for, for some Pokemon dumb Go, reason. Eevee became like a cornerstone of the entire game for a while because early on. Eevee was easy to get because she's because it's just a low-level normal type Pokemon, but it evolves very easily into all three variations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just would catch a ton of Eevees and having an army Speaking of all three of, variations of elements we out, that they can make. We not, we went out to the pool today and noticed like a congregation of people outside of our apartment, and it yeah, it was like a small army bird? of adults just oh, standing wow, around me in the space get that playing it, Pokemon Go. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Uh, First time I'd actually ever seen it outside of like a convention or something. I just noticed that one of you was fighting a second ago from like, by like levitating up in this building that we're somehow is, is over us this whole time that is oh, not yeah, supported. This? <laughs> yeah, this, I there's have apparently a Pokemon called the Igglybuff. Is somebody just screwing with me? No, no Igglybuff Honestly, is totally I can a Pokemon never tell anymore. Because Igglybuff sounds like the Cockney <laughs> version. Like, oh, you got an Iggly buff over there. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty hey, far off the mark, buff. honestly. So there's a Wigglytuff and an Iggly buff. What's the difference? One's male, one's female? Iggly uh, buff is the, uh, the more baby. It's the pre-evolution, I think. What? Yeah. It's before the Jigglypuff? Yeah, yeah Wigglytuff is, is the third. Iggly yeah. buff is <laughs> the uh, pre. It, it goes from buff to less tough. Soul. It goes buff, from buff, to buff, buff, puff, puff to tough. tough. Yeah. That makes no sense. Like, buff is like the- it's like the most tough of the three. <laughs> what can I shoot? What the heck? Uh, did you run out of belays? There we go. I don't know, I couldn't shoot for a while there. Mm. Do weapons jam? Nope. Ooh, my airstrike's ready. Bad Fuck news. that area. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Hooray! I did it. Like the one scene from Forrest Gump. You know. Chocolates? Like something? <laughs> something, something chocolates? <laughs> Uh, I every time I think of Forrest Gump, I think of uh, Michael Bolton dressed up as Forrest Gump now. I never completed my objective because I never found a single treasure chest. Oh, well, oh, shit! I don't know if I completed my objective. I probably should have. Well. Did you find a bunch of treasure chests and not tell us in the mission? I totally forgot chests? what your mission was. I just remembered shells. <laughs> Hooray! Zero progress. Yeah, I found I wish, all of mine. I wish all that. I wish that all these objectives that are mandatory to continue with the story that are all like, fine, dude, this one action would be retroactive. Wait, no, a, a it should count. You might have it because uh, if I found a treasure chest, it should count for you. No, it said zero to one. Really? I guess yep. we're gonna find out. We probably we might have been too far away, or it just doesn't count that way for that one. Because normally this game just doesn't like. Uh, you get a quest later on, which is kill a mimic, 
and I've I didn't see a mimic until like four missions later because somebody else killed it for me and I was just like, alright, sure. Yeah. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my landing screen and I will let you know what I find. Somebody is stupid. I got out. Who needs objectives Polaroids. when you can grind? Um. I got Polaroids. Hooray. Yeah, Treasure Friend is still just sitting there waiting for me to, to do it. Okay. I got people and XP for schematic. Well, I, I, I did, a, I did yep, one I third of both dailies. Hooray. There's that. 